Leandro, thank you for singing with the Beyond the Walls Choir. Let's take a look at hymn 257, Standing on the Promises, a hymn that is uh, it's very well known, very familiar to most of us. And what I have here on screen with this big print is something that most of us don't need to worry about it. Um, if, however, you never heard this hymn before, and you read music, you'll notice that the way that we are going to sing it is not exactly how it is written. It is written in four fourths, but we will sing it in twelve eighths. So all these um, little ry rhythmic cells that are a dotted um, eighth note and a sixteenth become a quarter note and an eighth note. So if we go to the first verse okay here so the way that it sounds is not standing on the promises of christ no one i i never heard anyone singing it like that instead we do a nice kind of dancey 12 eighths standing on the promises of christ my king so if you if you already know this hymn, don't worry about that. But if this is your first time encountering it, you just, just so you know, that's how we are going to interpret it. Now, the next thing, of course, that I always uh, mention is our breaths. And in this case, is um, I think it's easy to, to, just to remember when to breathe because all the phrases have the same format. Dun, da, 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 Okay, and so we breathe, we take a breath after each one of these phrases that are always the same. Dun, da, 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 And the, the organ, as always, is, is all also taking a breath with us, so you, you have plenty of time to take a breath. Da, 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 dun, dun. You can even just emphasize that shout and sing and take a breath and you're not going to miss your entrance because there, there's time to, to take a breath. Da, 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 da. Here, um, I, if you see this, I indicated a, a bigger breath because here this is the the end of the verse and we go to the refrain and so here there's a there's a big big breath like a little bit of a rest before we start uh, singing the refrain so just remember that it's always the same um, so listen to it a couple times so you get used to the the this the pause um, or just take a big breath and you'll be fine what Okay, let's go back to the beginning and I indicated legato and as that's just a reminder because we tend to sing these kind of uh, rhythmic figures. Uh, we, we tend to make it a little bit too, not necessarily staccato, but it, it's almost like we, we tend to hit each note. Standing on the promises of Christ. Uh, and we want to make a, you know, just like the melody. We want to sing not note by note, but phrase by phrase. Standing on the promises of Christ, my King. As opposed to standing on the promises of Christ. It's also going to help you with your breath, because as I sing that way, the, the, the wrong way, I notice how I run out of air right away. So legato helps you... Uh, just make economy of air so that you can sing the whole phrase and when we go to the refrain sopranos uh, you go on your own with this beautiful melody you have like a minor chord um, arpeggio there while everyone else uh, is doing this continuo dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 Sopranos. So sopranos, you're like the violins here. Okay, so that's why I say legatissimo because it has to sound like every note linked together. Okay, and and then yes, we go back all together, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. 
breath and once again sopranos you go on your own and here is like the tricky part there's a fermata okay so there's like that is like a like we have to fermata means that you have to hold the note and then there's a pause and we take a breath and then we start again on tempo now that is very challenging to do and for any choir but especially for a virtual choir because we're not physically together now i've done a little bit of, a little bit of a trick here there is actually no pause per se instead what i have done is i have added a whole bar in between so that's that's why i have those numbers those numbers are just beats so if we go from the beginning of this page standing uh, sorry uh, these are the beats standing standing um stand so the beat keeps going and you'll hear my voice saying one two three four breath um standing okay so i think if you listen to it a couple times uh you'll you'll understand how it goes so it's you don't i don't think it's um you're gonna hesitate because the tempo again keeps going it is a fermata but um only us the singers will know the truth behind the fermata is actually a hidden bar that no one will know about okay so just keep going counting I'm counting for you to help you on the um, on the five there that's when we take a breath okay standing standing breath I'm standing on and of course that um, that eighth note the um th that pickup it actually becomes a whole beat okay so we don't say i'm standing on the promises of god that's what's written there but i never heard that anywhere what i always hear is i'm standing on the promises of god a whole beat to say um okay so once again uh, i suggest especially if you're not familiar with it uh, take uh, take your time to listen to it and and, and you'll see immediately uh, how it goes um, I think it's gonna be very easy to follow uh, when we say the word God we have to try to more or less drop that D uh, together so we're gonna do it by dropping it on the fourth beat of that bar send it on the promises of one two three D one two three d okay god and then big breath just like at the end of the verses at the end of the refrain there's also a pause so that we can take a big breath and go on at the very end this is a long hymn okay but uh is is fun is especially the bass part is is really like like head banging heavy metal uh, I love it um, at the end we are doing a ralentando for this that, that starts really when we say standing on the promises of God um, again just follow the the, the leading voice I, I think it's 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 going to be very intuitive and just wait for my voice I'm gonna count one two three out that's when you drop the D of the word God I believe that's all for this hymn it's really really fun I really love it and I'm looking forward to receiving your recordings and mixing it together I think it's gonna sound fantastic thank you